Hello, my friends. Today you are going to make your snork. Okay. What's a snork? I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. So we're just going to have to find out. And we have the snork's DNA. And that DNA is going to tell us exactly what the snork looks like because that's how it works. DNA makes RNA, makes proteins, makes traits. Okay. So in your classroom, you are going to have an assignment that looks like this. Okay. It says choose one snork. And I mean one. Okay. You don't have to do all of these. Just pick one that suits your fancy. We have Snickers, Snuffle, Snoopy, and Snapple. Okay. In this case, I chose Snoopy. So you're going to open that Snoopy. So you're going to open one of these and this Google slide eventually. Okay. So right now I'm going to open my Snoopy Snork and you're going to get Snoopy Snork's DNA. And that's a good thing because we can tell what he looks like or she, I don't know what Snoopy is. Okay. And at the bottom of this page, you'll notice that you have the amino acid wheel. And I'm just going to drag it up here because that's going to make my life easier. Okay. So here we go. We are, first of all, we have to make some RNA. We always have to make the RNA. Okay. So we have a CAT that's going to give us a GUA. We have an AGG that's going to give us a TCC. And we have a GAG that's going to give us a CUC. And we're going to use our amino acid wheel right here. G U A is going to give us a valine. Okay. T C C. Oh, what? There's no T on this wheel. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I made a mistake. Let's put a U there. UCC because A pairs with U because it's RNA. See how I caught my mistake there? Here we go. UCC gives us a serine and a CUC. CUC gives us a leucine. Okay, so here's our two choices. Either our snork is going to be hairy or hairless. So we're going to look at the protein that is being made by the SNORKS DNA. So we have a valine, serine, and a leucine. And here we have a valine, serine, leucine, or a valine, serine, lysine. So we just do matchy-matchy, and you see that our SNORK is going to be hairless. Okay? And these traits, there's no right or, well, there's no... Hairy is not better than hairless at this point, okay? So it just is what it is. You got to make what, what the DNA says you got to make, okay? Here we go. Let's do our second trait, okay? So we have an ATG that's going to give us a UAC. We have a GGG that's going to give us a CCC. We have a CTC that's going to give us a GAG. CTT is going to give us a GAA. And TTT is going to give us an AAA. Now, we're going to go down to our wheel again. UAC gives us a tyrosine. Now, if you want to use that decoder, um, decoder shape. You can do that. Uh, insert. Let's see if you can do that. Maybe you can't do that. That would be so sad. I guess you can't do that because this is Excel. So bummer. Well, you can use your fingers to kind of block it out. CCC is going to give us a proline. A GAG. GAG is going to give us a glutamic acid, a glue. A GAA is going to give us another glue. Notice how they're different. GAG and GAA both give us the same amino acid. That's part of that redundancy. 
and we have an AAA, which gives us lysine. Okay, now we just matchy matchy over here. Tyrosine, proline, glue, glue, lice. That is going to give us a plump little snork. And we say plump, we could say thick. We do not say fat. We do not fat shame our snorks. Okay. Now, as you go down, you'll figure out if your snork has two or three legs, a round or square head, has a tail or no tail, is blue or red, uh, eyes round or slanted, a circular mouth, a rectangular mouth, uh, stand-up stand ears, floppy ears, or a short, short little dinosaur like T-Rex arms or long spaghetti arms. Okay. So your job is to figure out the traits of your, your snork. Then you're going to open your build your own snork Google slide. Okay. <clears throat> and it's going to have all the parts that you need. Okay. And I think I'm going to, what I'm going to have you do is insert a name for yours. So this is Snoopy snork snork. Okay, um, so you just put the name of your snork, whichever one you chose, um, right up there so that I know which one you tried to make. <clears throat> okay, in our case, our snork was hairless and plump. We don't know yet if it was blue or red. I'm just going to pretend that we decoded the, the genes and it's blue. I'm going to click here. I'm going to uh, copy. and. I'm going to paste. Okay. So here is our plump snork. Okay. And we decoded later on and it said it was blue. I don't know if that's true. I'm totally making this up as I go. Okay. So all the colors from here on out, once you get your color, you're going to stick with the same color. Okay. I'm going to copy this little guy's head. <clears throat> we decoded the DNA and it said he had a round head. We decoded the DNA. It said he had uh, pointy ears. So we're going to do pointy ears. And there's no right or wrong answers on how a snork looks. I've never seen one, so you could do it however you want to. <clears throat> Our snork had slanted eyes. So I'm going to copy those and I'm going to put them over here and paste them. And I'm going to drag them in. Oh, might have to make it a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh man. Looking scary now. Our snork had an oval mouth. Oh, oh man. Okay, you get the gist. We're going to decode and see whether we have. Uh oh. We got to copy first. Uh oh. Copy. So I don't know if this snark has two or three legs. I'm totally making it up as I go because I don't want to show you. I don't know if it has a tail or no tail. You're going to have to figure that out. Okay. And when you're done, submit your snork. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you have a good day, be good people, and make good choices.